What's up, Kelly Gang? All right, so we got this statics problem today. Basically, the goal is we're trying to find the centroid, so the center of mass of this two-block system. So let's get started. All right, so we have these two shapes, right? We have um, a, a rectangle and another rectangle, or I guess a cube thing and another cube. What's it called? I don't know. Why am I being dumb? But anyway, we're going to use this table to figure that out. So this table is what it recommends in the book. So it says segment, volume, and then we're going to find the x bar, y bar, and z bar of each one of them. Right? So let's do that. So we need to go ahead and label these shapes as segments. So this big uh, first rectangle is going to be one, and then this is going to be two. Nice. So now we have segment one and segment two. So what's the volume of each one of these, right? Well, it's pretty easy to find volume of a rectangle. So for this one, it's six feet long, two feet wide, and seven feet. So it's going to be six times two times seven, which is 84. Let's see, yeah, that makes sense to me. So then our next shape here, it's four feet long, two feet by three feet. So four times two times three is equal to 24. Nice, so now we need to find the centroids of each one of these. So x tilde is the centroid in the x direction. So starting with our big one here, it's, it's uh, seven feet long from the x direction, right? Uh, actually, so we're doing x, so we're actually going out this way. So we're starting at the y-axis, and we're seeing how far down the x-axis is its center. So for one, right, you're gonna go down. It's, if it's two feet long, it's gonna be one for the center. So for x, it's gonna be one. <clears throat> so let's find y now. So y, we're starting at here, we're going how far into the center. So if it's seven feet long, that's gonna be half of seven, so 3.5. And then z, if it's six feet tall, it's gonna be up three. So it's gonna be three, half of six. So this next block's gonna be a little bit more confusing because it's actually off the axis. Uh, for at least one of them. So for the x, right, we have to go two feet over, but this block doesn't start until two feet over. So we know it's four feet long, so that means it's going to be two, right? It's going to be at the middle. So it's starting here, it goes down two. So that means we have to go two, and then another two. So it's going to be a four, right? Because we're starting here, going down two, and then going to its center. So then y is easy, pretty much. It's only two feet long, and it starts at the y-axis, so it's just going to be one. And then z again, it starts at the z-axis, so if it's three feet tall, it's gonna be half of three, 1.5. So then simply all we have to do is use our formula. So the formula is x bar is equal to sum of the x tilde volumes over sum of the volumes. So let's go ahead and do that with this here. So we're gonna add up x tilde times the volume for each one of the segments. So in this case, it's gonna be one is our first x tilde, and then its volume is 84. And then add that to our next x tilde, which is 4, times its 24. And then on the bottom, we're going to add up the volume, so we're just going to simply add 84 to 24. Right. So you do the math on this, and you get that x bar is equal to 1.67 feet. Let me write that somewhere else. So x bar is equal to 1.67 feet. Just somewhere you can see that. Nice. So then similarly, y bar is going to be the same, but instead of the x tilde, we're going to add y tildes. Right? I want to get rid of that. This is y bar. Right, so then, let's do it again for the y's. So the first one is 3.5, and then its volume is 84. And then we're going to add that to the next, which is 1, and then it's 24. So then adding up, it's going to be 84 plus 24. Do the math on this, you get y bar equal to 2.94 feet. Nice. So then z bar, uh, I guess you could probably guess what it's going to be. We can even just keep the denominator the same because it's always going to be adding up the volumes. It's going to be z bar plus z tilde. Right? So we're going to add up the next one, so it's going to be 3 times 84 plus 1.5 times 24. Okay, so then you do the math on this, you get that z bar is equal to 2.67 feet. And there you go, so that's how you solve this problem. So not too tricky, right? It's just about, um, yeah, just making this table correctly. So yeah, the, if you have any questions, I have a lot of questions that are like this, but harder on my channel. So you can work your way up and uh, yeah, ask any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.